Hello everyone! Welcome again to my channel. This time we're going to take up special products. And one of the special product is the square of binomial. To understand more about this, let us have an example. Given the expression, the square of the quantity a plus b, if we are going to rewrite this in expanded form, that is the same as the quantity a plus b multiplied by the quantity a plus b. This is a product of two binomials. Now, observe their first terms. They are the same. Observe their last terms. They are also the same. And to find the product of these two binomials, we are going to use the so-called FOIL method. F stands for finding the product of their first terms, then the outer terms, the inner terms, and the last terms. So let us take their products. A times A, that is equivalent to A squared. A times B, that is AB. B times A, that is also AB. And B times B, that is B squared. Now, let's simplify. That is the same as A squared plus AB plus AB, that is 2AB, and then plus B squared. Now, observe the product of the square of the quantity a plus b or that is the same as the quantity a plus b times the quantity a plus b. The result is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and that is a trinomial. Now let us have another solution for that. Okay, so let us have the square of the quantity a plus b. I'm going to give you the three steps in finding the square of this binomial. The first step is square the first term. Now, if you're going to observe, we have here A as the first term. On the first step, we are going to square the first term. And when we square, we, that means to say we are going to multiply by itself. And what is A times A? That is equivalent to A squared. And that is the first term of the result. Second step is twice the product of the first and last term. That means to say, 2 times the first times the last. And what is 2 times A times B? That is equivalent to 2AB. And that is our second term of the result. And since that is positive, we're going to write a plus sign to separate the terms. Now, third step, square the last term. Our last term is B. When we square b, that is the same as b times b, that is equivalent to b squared. And that is the last term of the result. And since that's positive, let's have again a plus sign to separate again the terms. So this is the result of the squaring a plus b. Let us have another example. Given the square of the quantity 2x minus 1, if we are going to use the process this, as what we have a while ago, we are going to square the first term first. And the square of 2x or 2x times 2x is equal to 4x squared. Next step is we are going to have twice the product of the first and last. And that is 2 times 2x times negative 1. And that is equivalent to negative 4x. Then the last step is square the last term. And what's the square of negative 1? Or negative 1 times negative 1? That is the same as positive 1. So the final answer is 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. Another example, the square of the quantity 3m plus 2n. Let us use the same process. The square of the first term, which is 3m, that is 9m squared. Then, twice the first and the last term, 2 times 3m, that's 6m, times 2n, that is 12mn. And then what's the square of the last term, which is the square of 2n? That is equivalent to 4n squared. So that's it. That is the result of the square of the quantity 3m plus 2n. Now, take note that when we square a binomial, take note of the sign that separates the two terms. When the sign is plus, the middle term of the result is also plus. 
And then when the sign that separates the two terms is a minus sign, the middle term is also negative or minus. Okay? And take note that the result when you square a binomial is a perfect square trinomial. Okay, now let us apply also, what if I have given you a number 24 and I ask you to square 24 without using the calculator? Let us apply the process we have a while ago in squaring a binomial. So this is the same as the, or the square of the quantity 20 plus 4. Now, doing the same process, if we are going to square the first term, and then twice the first and last term, and squaring the last term in 20 plus 4 as our binomial, we will arrive on 400 plus 160 plus 16. And 400 plus 160 plus 16, that is equivalent to 576. So that is the square of 24. Okay. What if we have a problem. If one side of a square is represented by the quantity 2x plus 3 units, what is its area? So we're going to have several steps in solving this problem. So the first step is what is or what are given in the problem? That is the side of the square which is equivalent to 2x plus 3 units. Second step is what is us in the problem? The area of the square. And the third step is, what formula are you going to use? Since you are asked to find this area, the area of a square is equal to side times side or side squared. Or in symbol, that is equivalent to A equals S squared. Fourth step is the solution to the problem. So since A is equal to S squared and S is 2X plus 3, squaring 2X plus 3 with the use of the process we have a while ago, we square the first term twice the first and last, and we square the last term. So we have the square of 2X plus 2 times 2X times 3 plus the square of 3. And that is equivalent to... 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. And the last step is the answer to the problem. So what's the answer to the problem? The area of a square is 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 units. Now try squaring the given binomials here. Number 1, the square of the quantity c plus 5d. That is the same as c squared plus 10cd plus 25d squared. Number two, what is the square of the quantity 3k minus 7? That is equal to 9k squared minus 42k plus 49. And what is the square of the quantity 6x minus 3? That is equal to 36x squared minus 36x plus 9. And the last one, what's the square of the quantity 4w plus 9? That is the same as 16w squared plus 72w plus 81. Thank you for watching and learning with me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video.